Adopt and bring home a shelter pet today. <laughs> to find out more, visit the shelterpetproject.org. This message has been brought to you by the Humane Society of the United States, Maddie's Fund, and the Ad Council. The Sports Jock Show is home of the $1,000 wake-up call. The $1,000 wake-up call. All summer long, you'll have a chance to win and win big with the Sports Jock wake-up calls. Just go to our website at thesportsjock.com and register to get the weekly wake-up call. Each Monday, the Sports Jock will call to remind you about the show. Good morning. This is your Sports Jock wake-up call. And every time you answer the phone, Hello? you're entered into the drawing for the $1,000 wake-up call. Say what? That's a grand just for waking up with a sports jock show. So, register for the sports jock wake-up call. Answer the phone Monday mornings and you could be a thousand bucks richer. Get details at thesportsjock.com. Broadcasting live from the Armada FM studios in Atlanta, Georgia. This, this is the Sports Chalk Show with Wayne Gandy. I am the sports shock Wayne Gandy. We're in hour three. Uh, <laughs> I like this too. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> We're in hour three of the sports shock show. We are rocking and rolling along. The funny man himself, Big Kenny, in the building. Selfie. Her. How many selfies have you taken this morning? I took. Uh, I'll, I'll say 12. 12 selfies already. I did. Uh, I was watching E! News and they had a report on selfie obsession that people like you are just um, maybe needing a little mental help. <laughs> really? R remember, yeah, I, said, said. I said that a few weeks ago that they said that that's a sign of mental illness, people who take a lot of selfies. Yes. What illness is this? They say people wake up in the morning, they take them before they wake up, they take them before they go to sleep. It, it's called they people think they're cuter the than they really are. That's what it is. Um, and it's a, it's a disease. I don't think I'm mentally says, ill. <laughs> and they said now, I guess with the program, people are starting to try to have plastic surgery, having plastic surgery to look like they're altered Selfie, because I guess you can alter your selfie now. Uh, those who do, I guess I don't. I don't. I can't tell who does it or not. So. Well, some, they say some people are adding breasts, adding butt, what? or removing, you know, side fat or whatever. Um, and now they're going as far as getting plastic surgery to look like the person on the selfie. So. Um, I could believe that. You know. People are trying to. In any people. addiction, you know, the first thing is to admit it. So anytime you're ready, we got to start with. <laughs> I know I'm addicted to selfies, okay. but I don't have a mental illness. Now we can, illness. Start, we can start the healing <laughs> wait, process. Wait, wait, see, see, she, you, she said, I know I'm addicted, but I don't have a. Denial is not just a river in Egypt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, you got to claim it all the way. I got a selfie problem. And, and some people just are really on the selfie thing, but I, I just like with the obsession with golf, if it weren't selfies, it would be something. I don't think that the invention of the selfie has driven someone crazy. Mm -hmm. These people are already dealing with issues, compulsive issues, obsessive issues, and that's where they direct their energies. Right. And uh, Valentina definitely has it. <laughs> selfie. selfie is in I, I mean you you know I, I know about self love trust me if it's, if, it, if it's one person that loves to look at themselves it's me but I don't go as far as she goes she makes me go you know what uh, I don't like because that he, show that uh, Catherine Webb picture of her she just got married and she's already she's still selfing herself married on honeymoon and it's like that's uh, AJ McCarron's newly uh, 
with mm-hmm. his new wife, first wife, the former Alabama quarterback, now with the Bengals. Uh, she is a model from what I hear. She went to Auburn, War Eagle, and um, she can't even stop on honeymoon to stop sending selfies. It's, it's just like, hey, look where I'm at. Mm-hmm. Take a picture. Gotcha. You know, it's about me. I'm well, here. Well, speaking of <laughs> selfies, the lady up in West Frankfort, Illinois, um, a selfie got her arrested. She had stolen some clothes at a boutique, and two days later she messed around and put a selfie of herself up in the stolen clothes, and that's how they've caught her. What? Yes, <laughs> they caught her in the stolen I'm stuff. I'm trying to find out how they caught her. They follow her? <laughs> like, people follow people. So if, okay, so here's my question then, because remember how you guys have brought up that people could be getting arrested for that um, towards marijuana. Mm-hmm. And plus, now someone got arrested for stealing clothes before that. So do you do you still think it, that it's might just happen? too many marijuana pictures? You know, <laughs> they would, they would that's, what go, I, that's what I was trying to say before. They'd have to grab a couple of buses and just go round everybody <laughs> up. But the one chick stupid enough to throw up the clothes. Hey, it's just the one her. We can send a patrol car. Yeah, they got her quickly. Yeah. Um, speaking of somebody that got it, um, one of the big stories was uh, this 18-year-old kid over in Daytona Beach. Is that correct, Big Kenny? Uh, they got they got beat up by the father. father. I think it was Daytona Beach. We yeah. have the picture of this good beat down. I just want y'all to know this is what is this the minimum That's of what, what the sports jocks is going to do. Gosh. Uh, if I find you raping anybody's daughter, it doesn't even have to be mine. Yeah, I don't even have to know the child. If I look over and I, oh, she looked like she's twelve. That's where I'm gonna start right there. I don't think that I don't think that has anything with what your bloodline. Right, right. You look over as a man, as a as an adult male, and you see some thirty five year old on a ten year old. That's where it's supposed to start. And this guy was eighteen. He was molesting the man's eleven year old son and. I honestly think that the father was quite merciful yes. to allow this dude to live long enough to take pictures. Uh, now, this is what w- I would do with just a stranger's kid getting <laughs> right, that's a what kid, right. But if it were my own, uh, they would be showing pictures of a headstone. Because, uh, I mean, you got to go. And, and I will right. say I'm not a proponent of a lot of things, but I will say death to pedophiles. Right. Death to all pedophiles everywhere. And whoever doesn't like it, uh, beat me in a square circle, and I'll kill you too. Because I mean, anybody that supports pedophiles is, you know, death. I don't care. Don't give me all of that. They, right. they, they damaged, and we had issues and yeah. whatever. The daddy went El- right. Eliminate oh, those issues and cut that off. Uh, speaking of handing out a beating as well, Tim McGraw here in Atlanta, down at the amphitheater, uh, he slapped somebody for ripping his jeans. Yeah, yeah, I know you've seen this, right? I, I did not. He had a concert here in Atlanta last weekend. He performed this song, and the lady reaches up, and it looks like he tells it right there. She rips his jeans. Bop! Bop! Get some of that. Wait, Slap now. her right across the head. What's wrong with you? What, what, uh, did, what did he do to the people that ripped the first two holes in the jeans? Well, I think he cut them in himself, but at the end of this video, you can see that it is much bigger. Like, yeah, he's his got his thighs shin. showing. Yeah. You see his shin. He's mad, and the lady's getting escorted out. Uh, she probably went home and had sex with her husband all night. She was turned on from yeah, that slap. Yeah, Tim McGraw just Tim slapped, slapped me. me. It's probably some expensive jeans she just ripped. <laughs> And you can see him like, what? Like, why would you do that? You, 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 you know, it's... Tim McGraw is married to Faith Hill, right? That's right, correct. Yeah. right. So he gets ripped on a lot. Uh, <laughs> I think a lot of people don't really understand the, number one, the adulation that people have for who they consider celebrities and folks that they admire mm-hmm. that entertain, but... Entertainers are people, and a lot of a lot of that stuff just doesn't fly. You feel like you know them because you see them and you buy the music or you watch them on television or you mm-hmm. go to the shows, but that doesn't give you the right to rip their clothing <laughs> and grab them and, and say stupid stuff to them. I, I, I always tell the story, the weirdest, 
the weirdest interaction I ever had with a fan was after a show in Seattle, Washington. I go in the bathroom and I'm standing there in the urinal and a guy comes in. Hey, Vic Kenny, man, you are super funny. I'm a huge fan. You super hilarious, dude. And he raises his hand to shake my hand. And I, I looked at him and I said, hey, man, I'm busy right now. And I kind of looked down. I'm working with a monster. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and he goes, it's cool, man. I'll wait. And crosses his arms, standing right, I'm talking about inches from me. And he just crossed his arms, and I'm thinking, this dude is really going to wait right here. And so I finish, and he, he raises his hand for the, for the handshake again, and I said, hey, let me wash my hands. And he said, it don't matter. Oh, and no. I told him, you are a true fan, dude. <laughs> and I slapped hands with him, you know, took a couple pictures. You are a dude right. that is a true fan. But I'm going to make sure that whatever it is you feel for me, my kids never feel for anybody else. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? That's today, weird. That man has died from syphilis. Hey. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I tried to wash my hands. <laughs> I tried to wash my hands. Oh, birthdays of the week. Forrest Whitaker, 53. Eddie Griffith, 46. Will Farrell, 47. Vin Diesel, 47. Giselle Bunchen. How do you say her last name? Bunchen. Bunchen, 34. Steven Strasberg, 26. Sandra O, 43. Brandy Chastain. Remember Brandy Chastain? Yeah. Women's soccer pulled a shirt off. Pulled a shirt off. Y'all remember Brandy Chastain? She's 46 years old. And everybody freaked out. Yep. Yes. Tamika Catchings, who was in the WNBA All-Star Game the other day, 35. Robin Williams, 63. Carlos Santana, 67. Omar Epps, 41. Wendy Williams, 50. Stuart Scott, 49, who got the Arthur Ashe Award doing the ESPYs. Um, been battling cancer for seven or eight years. John Stallworth, 52. DeAndre Jordan smoking that weed, 26. CC Sabathia, 34. Jesus Shuttlesworth, 39. Wow. That's, That's Ray cool. Allen. LaMarcus Aldridge, 29. Joe Torrey, 74. Lil Penny, Hardaway, 43. Torrey Hunter, 39. Marcos Medina, who's fighting Floyd Mayweather in September, is 31. Zach Randolph of the Grizzlies. Hello, Tiffany is 33, and maybe the greatest of all time, Oklahoma State great, Detroit Lion legend, Barry Sanders is 46 years old. We'll be back with more of the Sports Chalk Show, talk a little baseball, uh, and, and find something else to talk about. Mass and Gill said something about somebody jizzing or something. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock. That, that is much more. <laughs> Never miss another show. Get the Sports Jock $1,000 wake-up call at 9 a.m. Mondays. You can win instantly at 1040 like Tiffany of Memphis, Tennessee did this Monday morning. Sign up at thesportsjoc.com. More of the Sports Jock Show with Wayne Gandy coming up next. The Sports Jock Show is home of the $1,000 wake-up call. The $1,000 wake-up call. All summer long, you'll have a chance to win and win big with the Sports Jock wake-up calls. Just go to our website at thesportsjock.com and register to get the weekly wake-up call. Each Monday, the Sports Jock will call to remind you about the show. Good morning. This is your Sports Jock wake-up call. And every time you answer the phone, Hello? you're entered into the drawing for the $1,000 wake-up call. Say what? That's a grand just for waking up with a sports jock show. So, register for the sports jock wake-up call. Answer the phone Monday mornings and you could be a thousand bucks richer. Get details at thesportsjock.com.